The theorem for same side interior angles is a pretty logical extension of the um, theorem for alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles, as we saw before, are two angles that are on opposite side of the transversal, and they're always equal. And since that angle, uh, whichever one we're talking about, either one of these, is a linear pair with the one on the other side of the transversal, then that tells us that these two angles right here always equal 180 degrees. And since this angle, top left, we'll call this angle 1. Well, actually, let's call it A, because the other one's already angle 1. Angle A and angle B are the same. If angle A and angle B are the same, and A plus 1 is 180, and B plus this other unmarked one over here is 180, then 1 and 2 must also be equal to 180 together. So that tells us that if you have same side interior angles, in this case angle 1 and angle 2, and you add them together, they will always equal 180 degrees if your two lines are parallel. So again, very similar rule. Basically, uh, given that alternate interior angles are equal, their counterparts then, same side interior angles, will equal 180 degrees because each of those two things is always going to add up to 180. We have linear pairs here. And uh, again, very similar to the other theorems we've talked about recently, if you can do the opposite, work in reverse, you can again show that two lines are parallel. If we have two lines cut by a transversal and we don't know whether the lines C and D are parallel, if we can show that the, uh, the same side interior angles equal 180 degrees, then we know that C and D are proven parallel. So again, it can work in reverse. You can use it to prove, prove parallel, or you can use, given that it's parallel, you can use it to calculate uh, the measurements of the angles. So let's take that information and apply it to the examples. Mm -hmm.